Welcome to Cine Maryland, your inside look into Maryland's film and television industry. I'm your host, Rebecca Jessup. One of the many exciting genres of film is the documentary, which has been defined as a visual expression attempting to document reality. In this show, Cine Maryland takes a look at a number of exciting Maryland-made documentaries. <laughs> The documentary Moving Maryland Forward offers some fascinating lessons on how Maryland came to be known as the home of some of the best maintained highways in the nation. Reporter Elizabeth Homan has the story. Several years before the Maryland State Highway Administration celebrated its 100th anniversary, the agency's communications director had an innovative idea to create a documentary. The agency approached Maryland Public Television and the result is Moving Maryland Forward, a history of the road system in the state. From the very beginning, Moving Maryland Forward brought people together. When we needed more, when we needed that broadcast quality that we knew MPT could provide, uh, it was nice to be able to use the special projects unit at Maryland Public TV. Both Joe and I are used to working alone, wearing a lot of hats, doing things ourselves. But um, it was really wonderfully collaborative um, to bring excellent camera people and editors and sound folks in, as well as to have such um, enthusiastic participants in the interviews and the information gathering and um, the researching for this. It took a team and I think we had an excellent team and I think that shows up on the screen. The teammates scoured archives to find photos and video footage of the early days of state road building. At the National Archives in College Park, they found an old silent film from 1927 called Traveler's Toll. You see images of uh, cars driving by the Barbara Fritchie house in Frederick and uh, toll gates in Cumberland as they existed. And they also reenacted um, scenes from the 19th century when you had the transition between railroads and, and roadways. Um, it, it was a, a, just such a valuable addition to our piece. At the Library of Congress, the best find was a film from 1903 showcasing mail delivery in Westminster, which was made possible because the roads in Maryland could actually support and carry wagons. But the film collection at the University of Baltimore truly wowed the co-producers. At the University of Baltimore, uh, Tom Holloweck and Robert Schindel uh, work in the special collections in Langsdale Library. And they showed me a WMAR-TV collection from uh, 1948 to 1981. And that collection is literally two million feet of film waiting to be transferred uh, with very brief descriptions of images that are available to uh, producers. So what we did with that was we took those brief descriptions and we were able in the documentary to show people images that haven't been seen for 50 or 60 years. With hours of video and countless interviews, choosing the right images and sound to tell 100 years of history and innovation in just 90 minutes was an especially daunting task. Uh, Maryland was 10 years ahead when it came to expressway construction. Um, the interstates came in 1956. Maryland Expressway started in 1947. So it seemed that Maryland always wanted to be progressive and that progressive spirit really shined in the documentary. It really came through. There's a whole lot of content that ended up on the cutting room floor and we could do two more docs and probably not use everything we had. Um, but I think it's good to leave the audience wanting more. And wanting more is exactly what happened. The producers say that the response to the documentary has been amazing. Road builders, engineers, government leaders, historians, and even Maryland drivers have enjoyed watching Moving Maryland Forward. They remember before there was a beltway around Baltimore. They remember before there was a capital beltway. And Maryland was really at the forefront of so many of these developments that we just all take for granted. But folks lived through that time and they remember what an improvement it was. It's very humbling to tell the story of Maryland Roads when you see the great deeds of 
of the people who did what they did to bring us what we have, bring us the kind of system that many people actually take for granted. We can hop in the car and we can get to the beach in a couple of hours. That didn't happen without engineers and designers and planners and workers who created the system and allow us that freedom of mobility. Moving Maryland Forward is already an award-winning documentary with honors from the National Association of Government Communicators, the Public Relations Society of America, and the Tellies. For Cine Maryland, I'm Elizabeth Homan. If you'd like to learn more about our show, visit our website at cinemaryland.com. Thanks for watching and tune in next time for the latest on Maryland's booming film and television industry. Until then, I'm Rebecca Jessup and that's a wrap.